November 6th, 2012, Election Day. Finally the end of the last, what, seven, eight, nine months of commercials and ads and phone calls and I guess really the only past few months have been that bad, but my god, we'd get two or three phone calls a day, there were signs everywhere, not only in my front yard where there are 21 signs that I didn't want, but everywhere, everywhere you look there's just shit in people's yards, so thank god today we'll end that. It's 1018, and if you can tell, the sun is actually out, and it gets better because the sky is now blue, which is the first time I've seen an open blue sky like that since pre-Sandy a couple days, what that came in a week ago yesterday. So, actually I remember, it was the Thursday of that week before Sandy came in, it was like 80 degrees and sunny. The Friday was sunny in the morning, so um, about 10 days under the Ohio clouds were now free. And now I can see in better detail all of the leaves that I'm going to have to do. Today's supposed to be 46 degrees. I'm going over next door to talk to him and see what he wants to do over there and get paid for October, hopefully. I don't know. Um, so if I work on that today, it's going to be quite the job. But maybe some of you saw my tweet. Woke up this morning. First thing I always do is check emails and Twitters and text messages that come in all night. And um, the first email in my inbox was one sent from my college rating one professor called Class Cancellation 11 slash 6. Friggin' right. I don't really like that class anyways. It's my least favorite out of all of them. So she had a migraine or something this morning, so I got to stay home. So I'm here until about 12, 11.45ish, and then I have to go to the psychology class, no big deal. And then tomorrow's the regular day, Thursday's regular day, Friday's regular day. So it's shaping up to be a pretty decent week. It's supposed to get nicer this weekend up into the 60s maybe, so That'll be good for work out here, which I don't really want to do, but it needs to be done. I'll probably mow all those off over there and then use the blower that I had fixed, had that ripcord fixed over there and maybe mow here. And uh, it's not too bad over there. Probably just mow those leaves off. But we're making progress as I filmed yesterday, all the Halloween stuff's down. That's called a poncho. Thank you, Colt. I got that down. I wanted to say... No, I can't remember what I wanted to say. Something else is to... Par parka. I wanted to say parka. That is not a parka. So uh, I'm going to grab some breakfast. My mom is having the Honda, I think the oil changed or something over at Honda in, in uh, the next town over. So she's going to come back. I think we're going to go vote this morning instead since I have this class off. So we'll go do that. It, my voting place is about a mile that direction. Very simple for me to get to, which is nice. And I will talk tonight about, uh, I'll talk about the election. I don't know for sure if I'll mention whom. I'm casting my vote for, but I'll talk about how I feel about the candidates, and then you'll be able to tell from that anyway. So we'll talk about that tonight, and I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, yeah, real quick. You guys remember these? I ordered one of these in, like, February, January or February, the Shaytards calendar, and I got one of the ones they signed, as you can see. And in a vlog of theirs a couple days ago, they mentioned they're doing the 2013 calendar. So, yeah, I got one of those from, uh, is it Radio Arcade? Something like that, something arcade. Um, I don't think they're going to sign them. The first 500 doesn't really matter. I actually never hung that up anywhere. I don't really use a calendar. The calendar I use is called iCal, and it's right here, and it's really easy. What's up, guys? 11.44. Just got back from voting. As you can see, under my seatbelt, voted. Had to wait about uh, 35 or 40 minutes in line over there and voted on everything I knew. I don't want to vote on anything I'm edgy on don't want to vote on anything I'm uneducated about is what I'm trying to burble out. Anyways, I told you that first class was canceled, so that's nice. Don't have to be there till 12.30. It's quarter noon. I'm going to head over early. I'm sure there's going to be voting at the university today, so parking is going to be terrible. And hopefully I'll find something now that I'm leaving early. So, talk to you guys in a little bit. That's right. 46 degrees, that's just about the cut point, so I think I'm gonna do it. Got just enough daylight to get her washed, I think, and dried. Uh, the interior is in desperate need of a vacuuming and dusting. I mean, who dusts the inside of their car? But if I were to run my finger along the console and the screen and stuff, it's just really dusty. Like, I leave windows down when I park, but I don't. So, car maintenance afternoon. Went over there, next door, and I'm gonna blow leaves later in the week. It's gonna get warmer, and there's only more coming down from their oaks. So I'll get those done later. But now we're gonna clean this up. It's almost as bad as it was when I did it a week or two, or two weeks ago. 
I mean, the whole side of the car is just covered in leaves and it looks like hell. So we got some Jackson on the Nano and I'm gonna go get that water, we'll get going. There we go, that was looking good. Friggin' right. Oh, we know that song and we know where this is going. All right, half of my wheels are done. These two are not, they look like crap. Whole car's washed and dried. I haven't done any uh, Zeno grand finale on it yet, but I will soon. There's a done wheel. The tire has not been treated yet, nor is this one, but looks really nice. And um, the water that drips off this when it's this dirty is literally black from the rear window back. It's all carbon. You'd think I'd drive this in reverse at 5,000 RPM. It's nuts. I have not detailed the exhaust yet. That will get done. And the interior is a wreck as well due to leaves on my shoes and crap. And of course the flip sucks in here. It's even worse over there. Hold on. Let's try it. Let's try this light. Yeah, it's bad. Clean wheels, clean tires, beautiful paint. I don't actually need to do the grand finale. The paint feels really good anyways from when I did it a week ago. So that's not gonna get done, but the interior is perfect now. Everything's clean except my rotors, which have rust on them. So I'm gonna go out around the block real quick, come back, then I'll have to re-wipe off the wheels from that surface rust. And uh, then I'm almost done, I'm close. We went to Applebee's for dinner. It's uh, Quarter of seven, so I don't know how long that took me. That's as long as before. But look at that, that paint doesn't need any more shine. Damn, looks good anyways. Congratulations, Mr. President. It is 11.38 p.m. in the East Coast right now on uh, November 6th. Congratulations, Mr. Obama. Four more years, you had my support today um, in terms of voting. Uh, I'm not going to go into that right now. I don't want to start a war. I have my reasons. Everybody has their reasons. Um, and if there's crap in the comments, it'll just be removed. I don't really want to talk about that. But uh, I've been sitting here talking to Colt. The car is done. The car looks good. Um, people are freaking out on Twitter. People are freaking out on Facebook. Um, Romney won the popular vote. Obama got the electoral votes. Personally, I think the system should be uh, should be looked at too. If you remember back to '04, Kerry won the popular vote, but Bush took the electoral votes. So I don't really agree with how that works, but I guess it, it, that's just the way it is. So I'm going to watch a little bit of this. Romney's going to talk, Obama's going to talk, and we'll see what that has to say. She said it right. That is democracy at its finest. Truly a beautiful thing. I was on the light diet for tonight's uh, election coverage. I had about a pint of ice cream, half a bag of chips, two glasses of lemonade, and a bunch of cookies. Well, that is the last we're going to be seeing of the Romneys. Well, Mr. Romney and Mr. Ryan for at least four years. Who knows uh, who and what they come back with. Uh, only took them about an hour and a half to come up with a speech. I don't think they were expecting tonight to go this way. It's about one o'clock. All right, Romney's speech was excellent. Um, he went down with just as much class as he came in with. Um, so that was greatly appreciated by me and I think everybody in this country. And it's, it's one of the greatest things about our country is, uh, you know, when somebody loses an election, as I said on Fox, nobody gets shot. Nobody gets dragged out to the street. Uh, it's, it's just a different place from what a lot of the world goes through and uh, we're lucky to be here. So I'm gonna hang up for a little bit, uh, hang out here for a little bit. It's uh, friggin' 120, I gotta get up at eight o'clock tomorrow, so it's gonna be a rough day tomorrow. But I would like to see Mr. Obama's speech, uh, see what he has to say. Hopefully he is uh, half his, has half the class that Romney did in his speech, it was very well done. So look forward to that, I need to put my food away, and I'm still talking to Colt, so I guess he's still up, but. Um, I feel like I was going to say something else. Oh, yeah, pretty much. I just got the car done today, and then I, I watched the stuff on the news from 7 until it'll probably be 2 before I'm done. So what is that, 7 hours? Freak's sake. 7? I don't know. I can't do math. It's past 1 in the morning. That's what I was going to say. The uh, This has all changed. Obama took Virginia, Nevada, and Colorado, so it's 303, 203 right now. The only state that's undecided, as far as I know, is still Florida, and we may not know for a couple days, they say. Uh, it's very close right now. It's within uh, several thousand votes um, with Obama at 50 and, and Romney at about 49. Uh, but the popular vote did change. I stated before that Romney had the popular vote. Well, that's before more states came in. It looks like now Obama does have the popular vote by a very slim margin. So just thought I'd clarify that. Finally, 
1 36 10 seconds a.m. President of the United States on stage. Okay, don't know if I could have picked a better song for that. <laughs> Very nice choice. Don't know if you guys can hear it, hopefully. You'll hear the determination in the voice of a young field organizer who's working his way through college. Very excellent speech here, about five or ten minutes in from President Obama. It's been really good. He's, uh, I always had a way with words, and he's motivating his crowd very well tonight. Anyways, I'm going to end this vlog here with our president behind me. And thanks for watching. Leave me some comments and thoughts on anything you'd like down below. Anything incredibly negative towards either party will be removed. Just know that. And uh, thanks for watching a 10 minute plus JRS vlog video. I know they get pretty old. So tomorrow is Wednesday. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night. Quite possibly the best speech I have ever seen. Very well done, President Obama.